I was just like any other 16-year-old, living a pretty normal life. And then one day, on the football field, my whole life turned upside down. I was getting headaches, feeling nauseous, had blurred vision. I went in thinking it was concussion related. I was completely shocked when I was told it was brain cancer. The fear and uncertainty were overwhelming. I had to undergo so many treatments that soon felt like my whole life was in that hospital. Two brain surgeries, six rounds of chemo, and 30 sessions of radiation over eight months. It wasn't what I thought I would go through at 17. On top of it all, I was faced with a lot of difficult realities that I don't think I was quite able to come to terms with or understand properly. Being told you may never be able to have kids when you're only 17, it's incredibly challenging to grasp. I had to accept that I would have to be okay with being an amazing uncle and not a parent to my own children. I completed my treatment and everyone thought it was the happiest time of my life. Maybe it should have been. It wasn't. I felt lost. I had to navigate a new life, a life without the structure or certainty that having cancer actually gave me. I was battling depression and anxiety. Frankly, I would have rather had the cancer again. It seemed like I would never get out of that darkness. But then something changed. I found comfort in my faith and the support of my family. The Canadian Cancer Society played a huge role as well. The relationships I formed at Camp Good Times, taking it one step at a time, it all gave me hope. Slowly, I started to see a way forward. I discovered a new purpose and a new meaning to my life. I learned that even in the toughest times, there is always a way forward. I started realizing that what I had gone through didn't define me. It wasn't who I was. It was a part of who I was. I got to meet the love of my life. <laughs> we got to start planning our future. I could start looking ahead further than a day, a week, or even a month. I am a survivor, and I don't take that for granted. But I know that I'm one of the fortunate ones. If it wasn't for research, I might not be here today. Going through cancer taught me that everyone faces challenges. No matter how big or how small, we can always get through them. My journey was really hard, but it made me stronger, it made me who I am today, it helped me to face the things that were ahead. And it's brought me to this moment, to my own family, my son, James.